i what is the value of x give it that you have x square plus one in parentheses to the power of two equals nine let's have it to be solution then let us recall when we have a plus b in parentheses as d to the power of two equals a square plus two a b plus b square so from here when we make the comparison of this this equivalent to our a will be equals x square and our b from here will be equals one so when we substitute it we are going to have x square to the power of two from here plus two times a x square times b one plus one square everything equals nine so from here we have two times two will be four from here we have two times x square plus one to the power of two is one equals nine then from here let's collect the like terms So when we have to collect these like terms, we are going to have x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared equals 9 minus 1. And so from here we have x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared equals 9 minus 1 will be 8. So from here, we can have this as x to the power of 2 and parentheses to the power of 2 plus 2x two squared equals 8. So, and if we let x squared equals n, so from here we are going to have m squared, here will be 2m equals 8 then we have m square plus 2m minus 8 equals 0 so we can solve this quadratically from here we've reduced this solution that has power 4 because we are expected to get four possible solutions so we've reduced it to this format then we can solve this quadratically by having m equals minus b positive or negative square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a then where we have a parameter a the coefficient of x square 1 then parameter c parameter b is the coefficient of m 2yc will be equals minus 8 then let's substitute everything here we have m equals our b is minus 2 positive or negative square root of 2 square 4 times a is 1 times c minus 8 over 2 times 1 then we have m equals minus 2 positive or negative square root of this will be 4 minus times minus will be plus then 4 times 8 is 32 over 2. So from here we have m equals minus 2 positive or negative square root of 36 over 2. So from here we have m equals minus 2 positive or negative root of 36 is a perfect square. 6 times 6 can have it as 6 to the power of 2 over 2 and so this we cancel out this we have minus 2 positive or negative 6 over 2 so from here we have m you can say m1 or you can say m equals minus 2 positive plus 6 over 2 then we also have m equals minus 2 minus 6 over 2. 
So we have m minus 6. We have this to be 4 over 2. Then we have m from here minus 8 over 2. So we have m 4 over 2 is 2. m equals minus 4. So if you are to recall, we have m to be x squared. So let's say first one have m equals 2 and this equals x squared. So x to the power of 2 root positive or negative root of 2. So this we cancel this we have x positive or negative root 2. Also number 2 we have m to be equals minus 4 then n equals x squared equals minus 4. So from here we have x to be root of minus 4, positive or negative. This can be simplified as positive or negative. We have root 4 times root of minus 1. x positive or negative 2 multiplied by i. So we have this to be the complex solution y x equals positive or negative root 2 to be the real solutions. Then let's check. We have x to the power of 2 plus 1 to the power of 2 is so going to give us 9. So when s is root 2, here will be root 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 to the power of 2, then it's going to give us 9. This and this we cancel, we have 2 plus 1, in parentheses to the power of 2, it's going to give us 9. So we have here to be taken to the power of 2 equals 9. So when you check for x equals minus 2 as well, we are going to have this as root of to the power of 2 as this plus 1 to the power 2 is going to give us 9. So this power 2 we have fed this negative here will be root 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 in parentheses to the power of 2 is going to give us 9. This we cancel this 2 plus 1 will be 3 to the power of 2 equals 9. So likewise when you also check for the complex solution so we are going to have this as 2i to the power of 2 plus 1 all to the power of 2 then it's going to give us 9 so this will be 4 multiply i square then plus 1 is going to give us 9 so from here we have i square to be minus 1 here will be minus 4 plus 1 to the power of 2 then it's going to give us 9 minus 4 plus 1 will give us minus 3 in parentheses to the power of 2 is going to give us 9. This negative 1 will be affected by this. We have plus t to the power of 2 equals 9. Likewise, when you also check for the negative, you still have the same thing. We still have the same thing where we are going to have minus 2i to the power of 2 plus 1 to the power of 2, then it's going to give us 9. So from here, then this negative will be affected have it to be 4 times i squared plus 1 to the power of 2 is so going to give us 9. So from this one, i squared will be minus 1 times this will be minus 4 plus 1 to the power of 2. Then are we going to have 9? Minus 1 plus 4 minus 4 plus 1 will be minus 3 and parentheses to the power of 2. Are we going to have 9? So this will be affected. We have take it to the power of 2 which equals 9. So since everything is satisfied, we can declare finally that s, sorry, x equals root 2 minus root 2 plus 2i minus 2i. So we have it to be first solution because when you check it, we have x to the power of 2 plus 1 in parentheses to the power of 2 
because nine. the expansion of this will give us x to the power of 4, which we have four solutions.